Hi, Miss Ashley. How are you? Are you doing well? I am doing well. Super. Students, today is a very special day. My name is Dr. Cruz. I'm the superintendent of the Austin School District. The favorite part of my job is to get to work with great teachers and principals like Dr. Kaufman and uh, Miss Ashley here. And we do a special surprise once a year for teachers. How many teachers do you think we have in Austin ISD? Just tell me, a million? Not quite a million. Uh, more than a thousand. More than 15. More than 5,999, but less than 6,001. Oh, 6,000. 6,000, all right, good, 6,000, right? 6,000. And every year, we recognize one teacher of the year for elementary schools. Guess who that teacher is this year? Miss Ashley, you are our Austin ISD Elementary Teacher of the Year. Congratulations to you. And you know what, Dr. Chris? I could not do it without the most amazing students in Austin ISD, so let's give them a round of applause. Miss Ashley, we are really proud of you. I just said, boys and girls, look at what a great teacher already. She's saying yes, but she's already saying it's because of you all. But she really does care. She really does love y'all. Congratulations again, Miss Ashley. So proud of you. So proud of you. Thank you, Miss Ashley. We are so proud of you. AISD's Elementary Teacher of the Year. Congratulations. It's a huge honor, um, and I just thank to my students that have contributed so much to my own development, not just as a person, but as a teacher, and helping me continually raise the bar for them and challenge myself, and also to the community of teachers with whom I work here and the support that I've received from our administration and just a network of, of teachers. Um, here at Perez and then outside uh, in Austin and beyond that have really contributed to my own development. And then what were your ideas for a little design there? Um, like the, like... Oftentimes people ask me what my favorite grade is to teach. Every year to me has seemed like the greatest year. First grade is unbelievable I and mean, just the amount of progress that you see with students' reading abilities is mind-blowing. Second grade, they're starting to become more independent. Third grade, I feel like we can dive more into the content. And fourth grade, something I've loved this year is teaching history and really diving into that content with students and the types of conversations that we've been able to have are quite incredible. And then also the questions that they're able to ask as they're trying to take these really um, abstract concepts like time and centuries and you know millennia and first humans in in North America and things that are really tough for kids at this age to understand um, it's really unbelievable to start seeing the connections that they're making as we're summarizing we're trying to put ourselves into the perspective of someone that is moving there right you're trying to put yourself back in, back in time back into the 1820s what are you worried about Credits does a ton to support the whole child, and that's something I've really appreciated about my time here on this campus. And the administration coaches and teachers have really pushed me um, to make sure that I am considering all aspects of a child's development, uh, their emotional, social and emotional well-being, um, making sure that they're staying physically active and healthy, that they're getting top-notch education and instruction that's meaningful and relevant to their lives and is really authentic. Students definitely are the ones that keep me going in this work. They bring me back into the classroom every day. Um, I have just seen time and time again how they have gone above and beyond and I set a high expectation and they achieve that and are able to do even more. It's really inspiring for me to see uh, all the, the capabilities in my students and um, everything that they have been able to accomplish and I think I, I learn a lot from them as well and that's been a huge part of my own personal development. I want to invite him. I'm Stephen F. Austin, right? I want to invite him to my colony. I can be the most persuasive if I can get inside his head. In general, um, what draws me to elementary is just the, the curiosity and eagerness with which students come to school. I deeply believe that 
that kids care about learning, that they're curious individuals, that they want to learn about the world around them. They want to find out why things operate the way they do. They want to understand their history. They want to understand their place in the world. And they're so eager when they come into elementary to learn um, about everything. And I think it's my duty to make sure that kids maintain that level of eagerness and excitement for school. And, uh, really make sure that they're falling more in love with learning. At the end of the day, I think we all really pride ourselves on doing our best to make sure that students get an education that is really balanced and well-rounded and have fun and <laughs> are joyful um, throughout the day here at school. We want it to be a place where kids come and uh, have a good time with their peers while they're learning.